rightfully so. The senior Guillory gets both free throws and puts Southern back in front with under six minutes to go. This will be a big possession for both teams right here. Harmison inside Petty. Harmison's gone all the way at the point here in the second half. Underhands it to Clark. Here's that motion game again. Yeah, they're just playing time now. Now they're going to try to get into a set, and they're going to run a little high, high pick and roll. Harmison, a little stutter, and the shot good from 10 feet away. Well, he's really played well. He's just played very, very big. He's played bigger than his height and has done a great job of, of coming up with big baskets. Pressure. So they play for the senior from Baton Rouge. They break the pressure. Honoree can't convert. Tip is not there. Battle for it underneath. Valley has it. Feeling. Got to make those shots. I mean, you can't get a better shot. Uncontested layup on the basket. Look at that drought. No oh. field goals in six minutes for Southern. Well, you just, you, when you miss shots like that, you're going to have a drought. I mean, that's got to be, that's such a critical play, and they've got to make that shot. Newsom, the freshman, over to Beeling. Shot clock is under 10 again. Clark, they got to move. Here's Harmison with two, long three on the way to their ball. They lost sight, I think, of the shot clock there in an empty possession. Yeah, that just was not a very good offensive set, especially with a chance to go ahead. But this 2-3 uh, that Mississippi Valley State has played has created problems. And Southern hasn't done a very good job of really attacking and getting the ball inside. Guillory to Wiley on the cut, and that was well conceived there. Nice play. Yeah, that, that's that's really the first cut they've made off the perimeter from on top down the lane. Good adjustment by Spivery at the timeout. Clark in the corner has four points. Basket in each half. Really battling inside between Petty and Henry, and there's a bad oh, hold. Yeah, Chill Day, obviously, uh, Martin Luther King Day, and. Uh, this, uh, we, we've heard about the Southern band, Morrell. We knew about uh, their... Uh, got the ball in inbounds play and stepped out of bounds. Whoa. And now, all of a sudden, Southern's got the ball back. I think Davis and Scott are going to be the two guys that Southern's going to look to here down the stretch. They've been kind of quiet, and they're the two guys that create difficult matchups. Davis, of course, you know, is a guy that's been there, done that. And Scott has really played well in, in the clutch. Wiley, the shot clock at 15. Only two turnovers in the second half for Mississippi Valley State after that last one. And Davis off the window. And he expects your senior to step up, and he does right there. Yeah, and I think on the other hand, they're going to have to look for Petty. And I wouldn't be terribly surprised if Harmonson will try to do something. And interesting, because after sitting out almost a half, they got Cheeks back in the game. Mississippi Valley State, he's the one guy they have that can shoot it from three. He's a streaky shooter, but when he gets it going, he can be very dangerous. Harmison on the block, Petty with a move on Honoré, and blocked by Honoré, and Davis has it in the corner. And now they can use a little bit of clock. And uh, you've seen a lot of these guys, the seniors, it's their time to shine. This is the big year for them. Yes, sir. Stephon Wiley and Chris Davis. Definitely their time to shine. So right now, you know, you got Chris Davis with the balls in the hand. You know, local product or whatever, and you know, he steps up when he has, he leads the team to scoring, so. Yep, and here's Scott, and he has really improved over the last couple weeks, and a big move there on the baseline. Yeah, it's, you know, th those are the two guys you've got to look for. It's really interesting, it's going to get down here pretty close to where it could be a free throw shooting thing. Neither team shoots free throws very well, both of them in the 60% range, but if you put the ball in the right hands, if you have the ball in Davis's hands and in Scott's hands, you got guys that are shooting 74 75 percent so a lot of what you do with free throw shooting is based on who gets fouled when valley needs a bucket here gallery the steal though and this could put things on ice as he lays it in well that's a heck of a basket and i think you know we're in but he wanted to show that you know the southwestern athletic conference was someone who has some great athletes eight point game 145 to go there's a look at that run to take control of this one and Valley in some uh, urgent mode right now, Bob. Well, they're in the weave again, and all Southern do it is doing is really switching it. And uh, at some point, they're going to have to get the ball inside, and, and, and I think go inside out. Otherwise, Harmonson's going to get stuck with the ball. 125 to go. Harmonson on the drive with five of the shot clock. Off balance shot short, and Southern has it. Scott, the big rebound into the hands of Wilder. 
Yeah, they're just, you know, that, that's they've got to get it. They've got to get a little bit better execution and not take quite so much time off the clock and doing it. Bailey's going to foul Davis and that uh, Davis down the stretch here. Next foul puts him in the bonus. That was a 16 foul and we'll run the clock down near the one minute mark now. Cheeks. Here's Wiley. And they're waiting too long to foul. They're going to foul. They're going to foul this guy. No, it's oh, a steal going, by yeah. Harmison. And the lay in. Really good play by Davis. You notice he didn't try to block the shot. To me, it looks like they're getting better in every game. Davis in the backcourt. And a timeout is called. Nice to, nice to meet you. Morrell nice. Carter, Southern University student, uh, joining us here on ESPNU Campus Connection. Feeling he's going to make free throws. You have a good feeling. You know, and he's only a sophomore. We sometimes lose sight of the trip. Oh, my goodness. Valley lost the basketball right oh, there. It's just a shame when that kind of thing happens. Good, good inbounds. Time. You don't need more points. You need for the clock to expire. Misses the front end of the one on one, though. Here comes Harmison in a hurry. 35 seconds to go. The blur goes to the baseline and draws contact. Now they want the goaltending call here. Well, let me tell you what happened. What, what's unbelievable to me is he acted. They got it. Count the button. He, 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 but once again, Southern just has to take care of the ball and make free throws. Now that sounds easy, but the bottom line is that's what they have to do. In the hands of Guillory, fouled. Front end of the one on one is good. Not, did not play a lot early in the season has all of a sudden come on and is playing in critical situations and has really given him a big lift and, and uh, in fact they were talking about him starting tonight. Harmison baseline drive leads in count the bucket again. Stay between him and the basket and make him shoot the ball over you but you can't give him you can't give him angles to the goal. And we have a one possession game now numbers there good free throw shooter. One more coming. Coming back and Guillory getting minutes off the bench. They're about nine deep now. And, and, and they really, it really shores up their perimeter game. Five point game. Here comes Harmison. Under 20 seconds to go in a hurry. Here's Cheeks for three. Got it. Big three from the left wing. And a timeout called by Sean Wood. And if, they, if you can do that, then you've got a chance. Honoree has it. And he's going to be fouled. Or they still have a timeout left. So 14 seconds is a long time. That makes it a three-point advantage. Happens, but just uh, you just have to stay between your own. Oh. Well, he misses, and it's a three-point game still. One possession game. Twelve seconds to go. Here comes Harmison. He's going to he's going to try to get a shot here. Or she Chiefs says it. Long three with five seconds. Didn't need to do it. Honoree the rebound, and he's fouled by Petty. And why did he put it up? He had five seconds, and he lost to 30 foot. Yeah, their inability to finish games. Honoree short. Oh, there's a violation right there. So well, now did he, he did step on the line there, and they will wave off the free throw attempt. There, he catches the on the ball. Petty looking, heaves it forward. It's Beeling with two seconds. Beeling's going to pull up for three and tie the net there. And Southern escapes with a 57 54. Yeah, that was a nice. I mean, what they did was very nice. They got it to a guy in the middle of the court. He dribbled, drove it, had a good shot from three. It's hard to argue with that. Southern gets their third conference win, three and three in the SWAC. They're three and 15 overall. Mississippi Valley State falls to one and 17. Great effort by the Delta Devils getting back into it, just not enough.